I uh, toss and turn a lot at night and wake up three to four times a night. So I guess as a result of that, I feel like, like I lack a lot of energy and I don't feel, you know, I feel tired pretty much a lot of the day, so. Well, last night I slept the whole night without actually waking up at all. So I, I was telling the doctor here that, you know, I hate sleeping at hotels. I can't, you know, all the time I've slept there, I, I just, you know, I'm not comfortable. But last night I never even woke up, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. Joe, why are you here, sir? Uh, pretty much you hit the nail on the head. Uh, pretty much asleep. I uh, toss and turn a lot at night and wake up three to four times a night. So I guess as a result of that, I feel like, like I lack a lot of energy and I don't feel, you know, I feel tired pretty much a lot of the day. So. And you're 23 years old, guys. Yeah, so <laughs> pretty much I've been watching, like Dr. Thayer said, I've been watching his videos for some years now and I figured I'll go visit him. I've never been to a chiropractor, but I'll start with this guy. Uh, tell us about the brain fog too. Oh uh, yeah, like when I'm reading, I kind of have to reread things because I can't really uh, concentrate. So I've noticed that too, just the concentration. And how long has that been going on? A couple years still, or just recently? Yeah, also like two years. Yeah. Since. Go ahead and bend over, touch your toes best you can. And so, what do you feel in your legs and back there? Uh, just tightness behind my knees. And you said it was about a three yeah, a minute like ago. Three. We already checked it a minute yeah. ago. Like this way, please. How about that? Pretty much no pain. No pain? Okay, look at the floor, please. Now, I want you to see how, how much space he has here. Look at how bad this is. Turn to the side. So, ter terrible range of motion for somebody so young. No pain with that, though, right? No. Look at the and see, this is okay. It's not the best, but it's, the looking down is really awful. Okay, and now uh, squat. You said this was kind of tight at two or something. Yeah. About two out of ten. And where is it at two? In your legs, in your back, your. Uh, yeah, my low back. A little bit? Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, so uh, his x-rays are uh, interesting because he has some evidence of long-standing low back pain. You can see the, the, ca the uh, calcium in his low back is starting to build up already in his uh, ribs. Um, he has a little bit of a genetic abnormality in there. Not horrible, but one of his neck bones are smaller than it should be. And so I thought that was interesting. Um, uh, he's 23, so it's, it's not blaring all these things, um, but definitely some wear, definitely some wear and tear on his body that's premature for his age. Okay, we'll show all that stuff on Wednesday. Alrighty. Okay. Anyways, check those x rays out. Right. Easy. I'm going to go actually a little lower. I'm going to C5 on him because that's where that smaller bone is. He's hot. So that looks like where all the pressure is. It's actually abnormally small. Good. First adjustment you've ever had, and you've watched my videos for five years, what is it like to actually? Well, it's pretty loud. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. How's that one? Uh, a little painful, like you said, like yeah. it's about a two on the pain scale. Gotcha. I want to push right here again where we pushed earlier. And you said that was a two earlier. What yeah, I mean, I'd say about a one. It's a lot less pressure. Yeah. Okay, so uh, uh, a little lighter, you said. What else do you feel? I feel like I'm moving a lot more. Uh, I've got like a. I felt like my walking had a more range of motion or more free. I mean, after the adjustment, more yeah. free. So are you not, I'm putting words in your mouth, right? You're no. not just saying this because you want, you know, you're, at, you're with your hero five years later, like, oh my God, you're my hero. Not I at all. Bad mouth him. Okay, so uh, last one, come closer. Let's take a big breath, please. Big breath. No. You don't think you have a breathing problem, right? No. I Good. felt I braved in more than I... It seemed like a little bit. Yeah. yeah, it seemed like a little bit, but I mean, I don't know if that was huge, but uh, you guys saw that. I think he probably breathed in more too, because he, again, that construction. Construction, constriction, constriction, um, but not so not so bad. Yeah. So, what do you think about your first experience? 
Well, so far so good. Like I said, so it's a little so scary, you know, just being never having a neck adjustment done before, but. But you do feel some kind of result. Yeah, like, like you good. said, a little less constricted. Yeah, good, 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 good. A little uh, lighter. So. so we're gonna show him uh, throughout the week and show you guys what's going on. He's here for two weeks and he's gonna get a whole treatment plan here and you guys will see what something like this comes in. And again, he's here for sleep, not here for pain, guys. So you guys can see his progress. So thanks again. Alrighty. Yeah, take care. What happened? Yeah, well, I only woke up once last night, so that's pretty good considering I sleep terrible at hotels anyway. So there wasn't any tossing and turning. I woke up in the same position that I fell asleep in. So <laughs> overall, I think it went pretty good so far. Okay. Remember, what did you come out here for, sir? Uh, what did you come? What did you come to California? Sleep, right? Sleep. You've been watching me forever, and you came for sleep. And how much better were you sleeping? I'm just kind of curious, percentage-wise, 10%, 20 last night. What would you think in your head of yours? I'd say 40% better. Yeah. And so what did we do on you? We just did what? Uh, just the neck adjustment. Was there any massage? No. When did I send you an escort over there to help you sleep? <laughs> Anything like that? No. That's the first time I said that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know I me. Mean, he may be like, oh, Dr. Thayer's pad and his stats. <laughs> How was that different than yesterday? Uh, pretty much the same, actually. Okay. Felt like it went a little deeper to me, but you guys can tell me what you think online, too. Went way smoother. Good. Good. Still doing mid-cervical, guys. Still doing mid-cervical. I think that when I felt it go deeper than the previous ones. Mm -hmm. That feels deeper than the previous ones? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I kind of feel my uh, right eyelid twitching a bit. I saw that. Yeah. I see it right now, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Anything else you want to add, Joe? Oh, well, the breathing. You know, I um, didn't really come in here for uh, breathing right. problems, but uh, I noticed every time I get adjusted, it's a lot, you know, I feel less constricted with my breathing. Tell us what you've learned and what you, where you're at. Well, last night I slept the whole night without actually waking up at all. So I, I was telling the doctor here that, you know, I hate sleeping at hotels. I can't, you know, all the time I've slept there, I, I just, you know, I'm not comfortable. But last night I never even woke up, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, what that's hotel are you staying at? Hotel 6. Yeah. Are those guys usually quiet over there? Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> any axe murderers running around there? Or any, yeah, uh, I lost the door. Any uh, pimps know. running around the hallways <laughs> maybe? I don't know. <laughs> they make a lot of noise over there, right? Yeah, they do. <laughs> but yeah, you know, that's, you know, I slept the whole night. Isn't so that that's, crazy? Yeah, that's pretty cool. And so I, he, he also said something that was interesting. He goes, uh, Last night or the night before, I forget which one, that he didn't sleep as long as he usually does. Yeah. But he still woke up what? Pretty refreshed. Gotcha. You know? And I go, well, how long did you sleep? Because I was thinking he was going to say three hours. Yeah. No, normally I sleep like eight hours, but I slept less that day, like seven hours or six and a half, but I still felt the same. Yeah. So So it's funny is that uh, he slept for years. Eight hours is his thing yeah. he wants to try to get. Yeah. He slept six and a half hours and he felt more refreshed. So it's not about quantity guys about quality and but tell us about the breathing yeah like i said you know i never knew i had a breathing problem but dr thayer noticed something and you know after the adjustments my breathing gets a lot better so that's pretty interesting you know yeah. something i've noticed yeah so he can breathe as he walks any change in energy level i'm kind of curious when you yeah, walk i'd say i'm more uh, a little bit more you know like yesterday i was walking towards breakfast and i you know, I didn't get tired at all. I mean, it's like a mile, but I did it just fine, effortless, I'd say. Yeah, but at 55 years old, do you usually get tired? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I guess I would normally, but... 23 freaking years old. I didn't get tired walking to breakfast. Who says that at 23, right? <laughs> Again, air, guys. Air, air, air. You cut off the air supply, your body's not going to work as well. So giving him more air is going to oxygen his blood more. It's going to turn on his engine to be better. And so he's noticing that energy difference. So that's why I was asking him to see if he noticed how he noticed it. Okay. Okay, so much pain with this, sir. I'd say about a four. Four, gotcha, okay. So I'm gonna let go, and so you feel how this over overwhelming sense of relaxation? Yeah. That's the feeling you're trying to chase. That's why I always push down the shoulders. That's why I'm always trying to teach you how to relax your shoulders. Okay? Yeah. So I'm gonna adjust you the chair. Just let your head fall this way. Good. Come this way. 
Good. Yeah. Excellent. How is that different than laying down, sir? Oh, not as painful. I could feel uh, some twitching in my left eye, so. Okay. Yeah, good. This way. Just drop your chin, drop, drop, drop. Excellent, good. Good, not as painful still? Yeah, not as painful. Good, good, good. This is a story of a 23-year-old Joe from El Paso, Texas, not Colorado. <laughs> That's good.